Good day and welcome to Mastering Dropbox. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Dropbox as a easy, free, no hassle way to back up your company's accounting files. So right now, I don't have QuickBooks installed on this computer, but I do have the screenshots I've created in the past uh, because I did create this tutorial uh, previously. So I'm just going to go through the screenshots and explain to you how to use Dropbox as a backup and restore point for your, for your accounting files. Now, as you know, and as, as I've said in uh, other videos, Dropbox is a great place to store your files. Because not only are your files synced between multiple devices, you also have an automatic off-site backup. So if you think about it, you want to make sure your company's files are not all stored in your building or in your house if you're a small business owner like myself that runs most of my businesses out of my home. You want to make sure that your files are stored off-site. So if there's a fire in my house, I don't lose all my files because the majority of them are stored on Dropbox's server. So all I have to do is when I get my replacement computer or if I go to a a temporary location is just install Dropbox and everything is downloaded and put back on the computer just as it was. So this is a great way of doing it. QuickBooks is what I'm using here to show you and QuickBooks recommends that you use either their uh, Intuit off-site backup solution or use a, a portable device like a thumb drive or a portable hard drive to back up your data. The reason for the portable device like a thumb drive or a hard drive is just in case the hard drive in the computer stops working. So they recommend that you use uh, something portable. But that doesn't help you if you have a fire and you lose both of the devices. So Dropbox is a great solution for that. I'm just going to go through the screenshots and just to explain it to you and explain how I have it set up. So it should be fairly simple to do. So once you have Dropbox loaded and it's on your screen, all you have to do is go in, uh, not Dropbox, sorry, QuickBooks loaded and it's on your screen. All you have to do is go in and click on File and then Create Backup. Once you have that, you have the option to do an online backup, which is using QuickBooks's solution. But like I said, that's not a free solution. They want you to pay a monthly subscription. Dropbox gives you two gigs for free. So to me, free versus uh, paid, I go to free route. And plus, if you upgrade Dropbox, you have a lot of storage. You get one terabyte for $10 per month. That's a lot better price point than any of the other services that you'll find online for accounting backup. And as I've mentioned in our videos, uh, Dropbox is secure. Just make sure that you're, you have your account secured yourself, but Dropbox itself is secure. So once you're on this page, go ahead and choose a local backup and then choose next. And you have to tell Dropbox where you want your copy. So you go ahead and choose browse from here. You can leave all the other options as default and then choose okay. And then choose where you want your file stored. Now, you don't see Dropbox here, but what the way I have my Dropbox set up is I have a folder in my Dropbox called My Documents. And then I have a folder inside of the My Documents that's called QuickBooks Backup. So if you look at the actual uh, address for this, this would be like C Drive, Users, My Name, Dropbox, My Documents, QuickBooks Backup. So I think it actually shows that on the next screenshot, if I'm not mistaken. So you just choose a decide on a folder in your Dropbox that you want to use as your QuickBooks Backup, and then go ahead and select that folder and click OK. Now it's going to say you've told us to save backup copies on the same hard drive that holds your company file. We do not recommend this. Instead, we recommend that you save to a different drive or to a removable storage device to avoid losing backup due to unexpected hard drive failure. And that's exactly what I mentioned. It's seeing that you're, you have your company file on C drive, which is a hard drive in your computer, and that you are trying to save your backup to C drive which is the exact same hard drive. So if that hard drive fails, then your backup is ruined. But in our case, our backup location is an automatic off-site location. So this is perfectly fine to use the same hard drive for both. If you did not have Dropbox, if you weren't using Dropbox or that, then I, this is exactly right. I don't recommend that you do this, but we're okay with this. So we can say, use this location, and we go ahead and click on that, and we're telling Dropbox, yeah, we know that's fine. 
and then and then uh, then you're given the option here. It says when do you want to save your backup? So you can choose to save it now. You can choose to save it now and schedule for future backups. So you can have it automatically back up your uh, your company file in Dropbox uh, on a regular basis. And as I've mentioned in a previous video, because Dropbox allows for uh, version history, not only is your company file backed up automatically, but it keeps separate copies of your backups. So if you made uh, made a mistake in your accounting software, you done something that you can't reverse or something that you made a, a huge mistake on entering in $10,000 instead of 1000 on something and you can't fix it. And I know in accounting, uh, you're not supposed to erase, you're supposed to make adjustment ledgers and stuff like that to fix it. But in saying that, if it's something you just did and you just want to go back and start over, then all you have to do is just go uh, online and restore your previous version of that file, which I've showed you in another video. And now you have a the restored version, so you could just start over again. So this is great. Not only do you get easy off-site backup of your files, but you also have version history of that file as well. So you can restore a previous version. You can access your offline backups. You can access them anywhere. So I highly recommend using Dropbox for for accounting backup. It's to me, it's it's the best solution. So go ahead and choose your option and save it now. Save it now and schedule for future or just schedule for future. This is going to choose your Dropbox location, so you shouldn't have to select it again. But if you do, just go ahead and find the same folder you wanted to use, but it should be automatic. And it's going to automatically give your uh, backup a name. You, unless you want to change this, you don't have to because it has your business name and the date and time that it was backed up. And you go ahead and click Save. Now it's, tell, it's trying to get you to upgrade. Uh, like I said, QuickBooks has saved the backup company comp, uh, backup of your company fall. Uh, Rock Castle Construction is just the uh, one of the sample fall, sample businesses that you can set up in QuickBooks. So that's all I use for the tutorial. So it says uh, QuickBooks has saved the backup copy of your fall Rock Castle Construction to C Drive Users Family Dropbox My Documents QuickBooks Backups slash backup product sample uh, sample product based business backup date whatever but then it's saying protect your quickbooks data with and all the critical files using into its fully integrated online backup solution that is good but you're going to be paying for it we're doing the exact same thing here for free so all you have to say for this is no thanks because you're you're getting that backup for free all right, so that's it. That's how you back up your files on, uh, onto, uh, onto, uh, how to back up your accounting files onto Dropbox so that it's stored offline automatically. Uh, on the next video, I'm going to create, uh, now in a few seconds, I'm going to show you how to restore your backups. So that's it for this video. Just go ahead and comment below if you have any questions regarding any of this. This is same, the same for most soft, most accounting software. For this example, I'm using QuickBooks, but I used to use Simply Accounting, and it's a very similar process. Obviously, obviously the menu and stuff is going to look a bit different, but it's the exact same process. You want to go to Backup, you want to choose a folder in your Dropbox folder, and you want to say, yes, that's my choice, and schedule when you want to back it up. And then just let the everything Dropbox and Accounting handle the rest. So that's the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and keep an eye out because the next video I'm going to release is going to show you how to restore those files that we just backed up back into your accounting into QuickBooks again. So I look forward to seeing you. Have a great day and thank you.